I'm Dr. Anderson from Anderson Center for Neuropathy and Chronic Pain. And I'm here to talk to you about the overlap between neuropathy and restless legs. There is a significant overlap. In some publications, it'll say there's at least 50% of patients that have neuropathy also have symptoms of restless legs. And for many of you watching this, that's something that you're kind of suspicious of, maybe you've even read it, and you're wondering if it's really true. So why could that be? And why is there an overlap? And how are they interconnected? That's what I'm going to try to help you understand as we go through this video. Because I see this a lot, and I hear a lot of you questioning this quite a bit. So just to review, when you have neuropathy, those symptoms are gonna be burning, tingling, numbness, uh, maybe weakness, and just pain. So there's a, those are mainly over here. Those are the neuropathy type symptoms that you'll hear about or that you might be experiencing. So in the restless legs category, you're gonna have symptoms of creepy crawly sensations, maybe cramping, maybe uh, an anxiousness in your legs, which is really common. The, the, the situation is you've gotta get up, you've gotta move, you can't sleep at night, you're in an airplane, it's, it's driving you crazy having to sit still. Uh, maybe you're in a restaurant, it's hard to sit with your friends and be sociable because you got to get up and move. Movie theaters are sometimes impossible for some of you that have that sensation. And I think I mentioned jerking is very common. Sometimes that's called periodic limb movement disorder when you jerk your legs involuntarily, just can't control it. Uh, and I think I mentioned most of them. I think I mentioned cramping, creepy crawly, and um, and sometimes it just feels like bugs are all over your legs. So, but the symptoms are, are over here quite different than those of, of, of neuropathy. And, but other people have a bit of both. Some people will have maybe a cramping in their legs and maybe creepy crawly sensations in their legs, but down their feet, they have a burning sensation, which is more aligned with neuropathy. Or maybe they have a tingling or a numbness in their feet, again, more aligned with neuropathy. So what I want you to know, or what I'd like to convey to, as I go through this video with you, is that simply, I believe that for most people with neuropathy and also with restless legs, where the symptoms are even below the knee, and that's where most of these symptoms lie, the problem is in the legs and the feet. It's not much of any place else. Why? Because we have shown week after week that we are able to reverse restless leg symptoms by doing surgery. We're able to go in and get rid of the pressure of tunnels that have become too tight in their legs. There's three of them primarily that we evaluate, but they become too tight, they're compressing on the nerves. And as a side note, I wanna get into this, so maybe in another video, but it probably affects the circulatory system, mainly the venous system. So that's what you're getting all these symptoms that are a little bit different than restless legs. But be that as it may, we do this all the time. We have people that fly here from various states and sometimes from other countries for the services that we offer. So my point is the source of both neuropathy and restless legs oftentimes can be compression in tie-up tunnels that are too tight, much like the carpal tunnel in the upper extremity, okay? I'm a peripheral nerve surgeon in the lower extremity. Yes, I'm a podiatrist, but my, my passion, my research and such has, has deviated me, kind of morphed me more into working with peripheral nervous disorders. So I really want you to understand that, that years ago, way over 15 years ago, I was trained to do decompression surgeries. The concept of this comes from the, a mentor of mine at, at Johns Hopkins, a plastic surgeon there to train me on these concepts. And then about six, about seven or eight years ago, uh, started to figure out that there were two additional nerve tunnels in the lower extremity. And if you can open those tunnels, we were able to discover that for people with restless leg symptoms, we could also reverse restless legs just as easily as we could do it for people with neuropathy. Now, I don't want you thinking that everybody needs surgery. There's different levels of symptoms with neuropathy and also with restless legs. Some patients have it very mild and we wouldn't recommend doing any kind of surgery for those patients. There's other options that we offer. But for many of you watching this, you're in a lot of pain, you're, or, you're, or you're not able to sleep at night, you're up pacing around, 
and when the rest of us are having a good night's sleep, you're on the on the internet. I, I know you because you see me on YouTube, and oftentimes that's where you find out about this with the testimonial videos that we have. So, one more thing I'd like to add, and I would like to ask that you like our YouTube channel. I always forget to ask you, but please like our channel here, and, and I hope you appreciate these videos and make make a comment, and ask some questions if you will. But the one last request I would like you to consider so that you can further evaluate what I'm talking about is I have a book published uh, that was a number one bestseller on Amazon. It's called A Perfect Night's Sleep. And I would really suggest that you think about purchasing that book. It's a very simple read uh, and it's my first book that I've ever written and I'm told it's fairly good. Uh, hopefully there'll be more that I'll write someday but it really just keeps it kind of basic and simple. It has testimonials, which I think a lot of you enjoy the, to hear the success that other patients have had choosing this pathway. And it also has some technical information in there and a little bit more about me and how I kind of came about this whole idea of doing decompression surgeries for restless legs. But, uh, and we have paper and we have information in that book uh, regarding the, the uh, papers uh, paper that we publish we should have another paper uh, being published hopefully within the next few months or this next year so anyway i appreciate you watching thank you for watching and please click the subscribe button and give us some likes and thank you for watching and i hope you continue uh, learning more on our youtube channel